pretty similar to the salinity changes is the way the internal heat or the temperature changes in the mix layer. Okay, again, you imagine that you have a mix layer of thickness H and you have a heat flux. Okay, and a heat flux is something in watts per square meter. Again, you have, you consider a unit surface area, one by one meter, but to a certain depth given by the mix layer depth. Okay, and just focus on the, at the, uh, equation which is shown here at the bottom. Okay. Let's see, you get the mouse working. Here it is. Mouse is working. There again, it's it's a very, very similar equation. You have something on the right hand side, which is the cause, and you have something on the left hand side, which is the response. And the response is how will the temperature change, capital T, as a function of time. How many degrees Celsius per time unit? Okay. And the cause of this temperature change is on the right-hand side, and the cause is called a heat flux. Q is the heat flux. It can be positive or it can be negative. If it's positive, means the temperature will increase. If it's negative, means that the temperature will decrease. How fast it will decrease or increase depends on the other properties given here, shown here. The rho is the seawater density, which is almost constant. Cp is the specific heat capacity. This heat capacity means how much energy do you need to change the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one degree, or by one Kelvin. And again, the thickness of the surface mix layer plays a role. Okay, It always depends on over what thickness do you distribute your, 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 your heat flux. Okay, So this is the rate of temperature change, and this is how temperature changes in the ocean. But it gets a little bit more complex. Similar to the E minus P balance, heat flux have actually four components. Okay, the net heat flux, the residual heat flux, is the balance or imbalance of four terms. Okay, one is the solar shortwave radiation. That's the radiation emitted from the sun, also called insulation. LW is the long wave radiation emitted from the sea surface, so the, also the sea surface emits uh, electromagnetic radiation. Then we have the latent heat flux due to evaporation, LH. Okay, this is the effect of cooling. Evaporation always causes a cooling effect. Okay. And sensible heat is the, is the direct heat transfer between the air and the, and the ocean through facilitated by winds. Okay. So the sensible heat flux depends on wind speed and air sea temperature difference. And this, this is how the changes in heat content work in the surface mix layer. But indeed heat anomalies can also be carried horizontally by currents, can also be moved around. We call this advection. 